I started a new recording, so. Okay, I, I'm, I might have to adjust the screen here. Oh wait, whoops, it's not even set. To, okay, hold on. Okay, hold on, I gotta change OBS. Video, no. Okay, let's try this again. It's, why is it not showing up? Oh, there it goes. Okay, but let's see if, it's, if the side's getting clipped. I set up curse. Millennia of peace have passed for the miracle god to fade, leaving the lower order robots to cultivate the world. But something forgotten and terrible now stirs in its stones. The I'm gonna Yeah, this is a Super Metroid roguelike. Okay, I got an alt tab for. S Wait, actually, let me. Hold on, it, it's getting clipped because this is in widescreen. But let me see if like the main game's in. Uh... Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to adjust this in OBS. Give me, I got an alt tab out. Give me a second. Okay. Yeah, good enough. Okay, so that should work. Okay, oh wait, hold on, I can't see the chat. There we go. So ready to become fight enough? Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I'm sure I'll make it a ways. This is, I don't know what B is. Okay. There we go. <laughs> yeah, the controls are almost exactly like Super Metroid. The way it works is you'll, like the levels are randomly generated uh, okay, good. That doesn't. It's been a. I think I played some of this last year. I haven't played since. Okay, so there's something underneath me from looking at the map. Okay, but I don't. I don't enter here. Mm. Do I jump? No, I think that's where I came through. Okay. It's down here. You, you can get you get different upgrades each time. However, I think they're always what you need to to be able to traverse different areas. Yeah, somebody's saying I should play what I want to play, but I would probably go do more Dark Souls with cheats, which, you know, I, I can tell for some people, like, this is kind of like a, 
kind of a religious thing for them, so I'm not trying to upset people by playing Dark Souls the easy way, you know. The... I, I think there's a certain amount of Stockholm Syndrome going on with that game for some players. Because I, I think there's at least two different crowds. Because one are the players who, they just like hard stuff, or stuff that, you know, you have to have a complete mastery in order to progress. Uh, the creator of um, Helios, was it Sean Puckett, I think? He, he said he was like that in one of the emails. Like, he, he likes really hard stuff. And there's the other players who I think are, uh, they don't necessarily like this, but at the same time they're sort of enamored by the game because there's a lot going for it in other departments. So it, it becomes like this grind for them. And it, actually, th this was explained to me in a psychology class, you know, it, it's sort of the same principle behind hazing, like for fraternities and stuff like that. Your brain, even on a subconscious level, will start rationalizing that, like, that, that you know, all this horrible stuff you went through, well, it was worth it, you, you know, like, because, like, how could it not be, especially if something, there's, especially if there's something good at the end of it. You know, I mean, I can see where that would be the case for a few players, like, it, like, I think somebody was telling me that it, like, changed their way of looking at life. It's like, okay, fine, if this game managed, I, I can tell you right now, I'd be bitter. You know, like if I had to play that, and if I had no other games, then like I, I might be. It was like the '90s or something. I had no other games, maybe, you know. But I'll, I'll be resentful. The Path of Exile did that to me to a degree, where I've played that game more than I kind of wanted to, but I was just like, no, I want to beat this. Damn it, you know, and. I, I, even now, I, I have, I liked, okay, if I got an upgrade of something. Even now, I kind of partially resent the game, so I, I'm sure that's what would happen to me with Dark Souls if I were to play it through normally. I can tell, though, after playing more of Dark Souls, that the art direction of Path of Exile, they stole more than a couple things from uh, Dark Souls. I mean, I was recognizing a lot of different things. It's like, oh, that looks sort of like the Shaper Guardian armor. Like, oh, this looks kind of like the the library area. So it's... Okay. I need to go, I guess, down to the left. Yeah, I can burn away the... Well, in the game right now, I've just made it to the Duke's Archives and uh, Dark Souls. But yeah, no... So far, that and and our and Orlando have been my favorite spots. And just, actually, for a Orlando, I've had like sort of imagined areas similar to that, just on a even bigger scale. Like, like I love the sequence where you're first like whisked away to it. Will you do the optional stuff in Dark Souls? Well, I'll explore everything to the best of my ability. Is my plan. So, uh, I mean, I'm certainly not going for 100% completion stuff. I, actually, I I was trying to look up information on something else because I wasn't sure where to go after a point. I, I mean, I'm not I'm not looking at a guide for like every single step, but I was just kind of lost. I wasn't sure what to do next. And I accidentally found out that you can kill the goddess or whoever in a Norland in an Orlando 
But then if you do that, it makes everything dark. I was thinking, well, no, I don't want that. I want the sun. So I, I left her alone. Okay, so here we have like a speed boost room, I guess. Oh, there are people who condemn wanting proper flashlights in Doom 3. I, I didn't know there were people who condemned that. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the flashlight. Besides, that, a flashlight's... Uh oh, I think we're before a boss. Okay. Yep. Okay, I got lucky that time. Yeah, you don't always get the same boss either in this game. Oh yeah, it's one of those where you get more upgrades the more you die. I've never really been crazy about that, but... Well, okay, I guess I'm alright with that if uh, you don't have to have them on your first playthrough. Whereas some games, I feel like you kind of do. What do Dark Soul cheats do? Do whatever you want, pretty much. Well, okay, I can't fly. Yeah, you can take unlimited... I, I still die from falling. I, I died a couple times and uh, died once in Blight Town. Once in, um... Where is it? Uh, New Londo Ruins, where it was so dark, I thought this was just another puddle. No, it wasn't. I, I could follow my death. So... Well, I, I died from falling once in Blight Town. Yeah. And why a dog shout? I don't. Oh, it must be somebody who arrived late to, to the chat. How did, how did you figure out there were not a Londo window path? Well, I just figured it out. Uh, no, Londo wasn't confused. I mean, you had to. I had to look around. I mean, I, I I realized my path stopped. I was like, okay, wait a minute. Then I checked around the side. Then I figure, okay, is this is walking on this beam gonna kill me? Because on some slopes it'll just drop you down immediately. So I figure, okay, I'll give it a shot. And then the beam worked. Yeah, it's a trainer for I'm using for Dark Souls. I'm using it to basically not die from hits. Uh, I think that's, that might be the only cheat I'm using. I'm trying to remember if there's others. Oh, oh yeah, well, sometimes I use the one hit kills just because it's, some of it gets tedious without it. That, that one I go back and forth on. I mean, the thing is, yeah, the game is in a way too easy with all the cheats, but Oh wow, there's a bunch of upgrades near me. Okay. What is this? You got wrecking shells, slow but powerful. Oh, is that a... Uh... Is there a menu to... I guess it's an automatic thing, okay. It's like, I'm not sure there is a balance between too easy and too hard for me with that game. Like, I'd, I'd have to change a lot. Energy Vorb. Oh, okay, that's a future thing. Yeah, you only get one life in this game. I think you can, uh... You can't find a power up to get two, but it's not a guaranteed thing. You know, it's randomly generated. Okay, it says there's a power up somewhere around here. I might be hidden in the wall. There it is. Okay. 
Speed module. Okay, so that's what we need to for that other room we saw earlier. It says there's something around here too. It might be that red stain. I'm not sure if that's me or the the map. Well, let's check it. No. It says there's something here. Yeah, no, I guess this has never been my favorite aspect of these games. I mean, the question is, do I need it? But I kind of did need that speed boost thing. I'm not seeing it. Uh, oh well. well. Let's hope we don't need it. Okay, wh which... I guess I go down. Oh, but, well, see, now people are saying they want me to play with cheats, but I don't think you do, really. Well, okay, no, you do. The I, I think the crowd as a whole may not. <laughs> that, that's... No, I take that back. Some of you may want me to see me play with cheats. I, I did like all the details, like... Like, I remember thinking once I drained, was it, New Londo Ruins, I was thinking, oh, are they going to show it on the walls that there's been a lot of water here? Yep, they really did. <laughs> like, you see the algae and everything's glistening. Yeah, I mean, there's a... Yeah, no, no wall jumping yet. <sighs> I don't think. Let's see. Let me try it again. Yeah, no wall jumping. Play the game, Ross. Well, I'm, I'm playing through it. I, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, in fact, one thing I appreciate is, like, I was afraid Dark Souls was going to be on that border of, like, it's hard and, uh, it's a little bit beyond like the level I like playing at, but I'm still progressing. No, it's not even close. Like now I see what they're doing. It's like, oh, I, I can I can feel the pain I'm not I'm I'm avoiding by playing that with cheats, you know. So so th this has changed my perspective. Because I've been holding off on pretty much all Souls like games until I played the original Dark Souls, because I wanted to get original experience. So now that I know, I'm thinking, okay, my new plan for for just all future ones is to play it legit until I, I, I start to sense that uh, this is not my, <laughs> this is not on my threshold of fun here, and then just go all in on cheats. And So I'll, I'll probably be able to go through a bunch of, of Souls-like games in the future. Well, someone's saying original experience is Demon's Souls. Well, I, I saw a playthrough of that one. I, I didn't. I wasn't even paying attention what that did. But maybe the chat saw. Okay, it seems like. Are these all my buttons? It seems like I should be able to like switch stuff, but. I guess not. All right. Okay. Well, no. Why bother? Oh, okay. What's this? Um, I guess maybe it gives me energy. I don't know. Okay. It seems like, it seems like I should be, oh wait, there's a power up there. Okay. Mm. That might've been a light when I picked up. Oh, it's this crap again. All right, forget it. 
Oh, it's a hidden... Whoops. Okay, I get the health. Yeah, well, I I'm not qualified to make the distinction of what's a souls what what qualifies as a souls like or not. Oh, okay, here we go. But I, I know the Steam calls some of them souls like, so so the developers think of them that way, or somebody does. Okay, uh, maybe don't die here. Okay. Yeah, because if I die, that's it. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, man, I have to go. Right. So, wait, where am I? There was some speed block thing earlier, but I don't know. I don't know where that was. Okay, we'll check here. Okay, good. I can get some help from these things. Whoa, oh, oh! Oops. Die. <laughs> All right. Uh Ross Mike or Hard on I played Hollow Knight. I I got a ways into it. I got pretty far into it. I got uh to this Manus boss thing and that just I found that frustrating. And then somebody's telling me apparently I went way deep into this area where uh, I, I really, I went way deep on optional, whoops, an optional boss that, uh, that I didn't realize was optional or an optional area. And apparently I passed the point when I could have beat the game. So, but that's another one I'm glad I kind of, okay, so people want me to do Dark Souls with the cheats. That's what everybody's saying. I mean, I'll do it if you really want me to. I can give another hour or something like that. But I mean, everybody's gonna think this is lame. Okay, okay, we have one, we have two for yes, one, no, three, yes. All right, it's gonna be lame though. I mean, it's gonna be me playing with cheats. Sure, I can do it. No cheats. No, this is mega cool. Okay, let's see. Well, the other option, or, or the other option is, I don't know if this would be that fun, but I kind of wanted to play at least a little bit of Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition because uh, I, I looked at a comparison video and it really looks like a side grade between that and Remastered. Um, let's see, did I plug the right thing? Somebody's saying it's like a walk to the park, Park Souls. Yeah, well, walk to the park where you can fall to your death. Yeah. Try to prepare to die. Well, no, somebody say it's not better in any way. Well, one thing, it, it, was, it was small things. Like, I, I think the torches look better in the prepare to die version from what I saw. Yeah, it, it's a side grade. It's a side grade. It's like... Okay, so it sounds like chat wants me to play more Dark Souls. So fine. Do you want to see where I am? Well, well, well I'm in. Uh, do you want to see Duke's archive on remastered or start fresh with uh, Prepare to Die version? We we have both. So, so so type remastered or Prepare to Die, and I'll go with whatever the chat consensus is.
Okay. Three for remastered. One for prepare to die. Two for prepare to die. I'm seeing, I'm seeing more for remastered. Okay, I'm, I'm seeing more for remasters. Okay, so we'll go with that. Okay, I'm gonna start a new recording.